My name is Esperanza Soriano McCrary. I'm the Parent Engagement Specialist for the Clarksville Montgomery County School System. And on this episode of Engage TV, I'm joined by Attendance Supervisor Cheryl Routson to talk about the CMCSS Attendance Policy. Cheryl, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So let's talk about the CMCSS attendance policy. How does that read? Students are required to be in school all day, every day. We do actually have a policy that we follow. It's put in place by the state of Tennessee, which means students are required to be in school from bell to bell, unless they have adequate excuse. An adequate excuse would be documentation turned into the front office, the attendance secretary, which might be a funeral notice of a family member. It might be a doctor's note, a court note involving the student. Also, parents can write up to five parent notes a school year for student illness. Those documents need to be turned into the front office to the attendance secretary. Well, I think we do a pretty good job of notifying parents. Every single day that a student is out, they get a telephone call and the phone call explains the policy in detail. They get a letter at three days explaining the attendance policy, which lists the actual absences of the student. They get a five-day letter from the school, which is required by law, and they get phone calls and home visits sometimes too if they continue to miss. What if those phone calls and those letters remain unanswered by the parent? Sometimes they do, and then we might go to their home and uh, try to meet with the parent. We make phone calls, we email. We will meet with the student, explain the attendance policy to them. Unfortunately, there are consequences if a student continues to miss. They might be summoned to juvenile court where they have to explain why they've been out. If a student continues to miss school without adequate excuse, they're breaking attendance law and they could go to juvenile court. At that time, the judge will meet with the student and the parent, ask why the student has missed school, and give the parent an opportunity to explain the situation. There are many consequences at that time. They could be required to come back many times in court. They could be fined for each day that their child misses. Some students have gone to Columbia for the weekend, which is a juvenile detention center, and really a worst case scenario would be that a student be removed from their home. When you come to school, they're ready to learn, they're with their peers, and they're learning at the same time everybody else is. And then the teacher can focus in on the things that they're struggling with and not just making up work, but figuring out how to get that time so that they get exactly what they need. It's just overall very beneficial to the child to always be there and ready to learn and ready to ask questions when they don't understand. Everybody wins. So what are some things that our parents, after watching this video, can walk away with? Well, parents need to be aware that there is an attendance policy. Many of our families are transient and they move from different states and they're not sure that we even have a policy. We have brochures that are mailed home when we mail the letters. We have the attendance policy posted online and additionally we have a compulsory attendance video on the CMCSS website for parents to review. Make sure that their student is in school every day, all day, which means coming to school on time until the end of the day. Also, they need to turn in documentation if their student is out or adequate excuse. And make sure that they're part of their child's school experience. They can also check attendance from power school, is that correct? That's correct. So that's another thing they need to make sure that they get their power school access and they can check it every single day, all day, and they can see when those notes have been turned in. Sometimes our students actually have a note in their book bag, but they never make it to the front office. So they can check that as well. Well, I think from any professional standpoint, when you're going to get a job anywhere, you accept a position and you're always going to do your best and you're going to always be there ready to do your job. And I think that as students learn over time that the importance of being accountable and being in school leads them to being a hard worker and going to work every single day that they possibly can. This is life training. This is on-the-job training. Being in school every day, you're learning to be responsible. You're learning to take direction to prepare our students to leave CMCSS with a job or some type of career. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Engage TV. If you need more information about our attendance policy, please visit our website at cmcss.net.